What's going on, Giants fans? Happy Wednesday. We are just one day away from the Giants Thursday night football game at Levi Stadium in San Francisco, taking on the San Francisco 49ers. Now, the Niners are a very good team. They seem like they are a contender almost every single year. Every single year, it seems like they make it all the way to the NFC title game just to lose. They haven't really got over that hump yet. Brock Purdy suffered a nasty injury last season against the Eagles in the NFC Championship game, delaying their uh, run to the Super Bowl. This year, he's back. He looks healthy, and the Niners look damn good starting the season 2-0, and beating the Rams uh, last week. It was a tough game, but divisional opponents always going to be tough usually. Um, but they're 2-0, and and they have every reason to be. They are a very well-coached team. They have a weapons, a plethora of weapons on the offensive side of the football. They got one of the best running backs in football in Christian McCaffrey, Debo Samuel, Brandon Ayuk, one of the best tight ends in the NFL in George Kittle, and a very good offensive head coach in Shanahan. And on their defense, it doesn't get any worse either. They got probably the best defensive end in the game, Nick Bosa, Fred Warner, one of the best middle linebackers in the game, and a very stout and vaunted secondary, which is going to make problems for this Giants and their young, inexperienced, and very bad offensive line, especially Evan Neal, who will be having the task to match up with all game long with Nick Bosa. Uh, pray for Evan Neal. He's going to need a lot of his prayers and support because he is about to enter the danger zone, and I don't think he can handle it all by himself. So Kafka, Dayball, whoever's calling plays nowadays, they need to make sure they give Evan Neal help on that side because he cannot be on an island by himself with Nick Bosa because just like Parsons ate, Nick Bosa's going to eat, and Daniel Jones cannot afford to get hurt. So Evan Neal, better get your A game up. You got to fucking block Bosa or else it's going to be a long fucking Thursday night. Uh, Barkley, he is feeling a little bit better with that ankle injury he suffered last game against the Cardinals. Dayball has not officially ruled him out yet. He's taking it day by day. We'll probably know later today what the results are for him. Uh, I would not play him. There's no need to risk him on short week against a very stout and vaunted defense in the uh, Niners' D. Um, there's no need to play him. Let Breda handle some carries. Give it to the rookie, Gray. Maybe let Brightwell have some uh, some touches. But there is no need to risk more injury, further injury, uh, for Saquon Barkley. Uh, still don't know if Andrew Thomas is going to play yet. He's still battling that hamstring injury he suffered in week one. Uh, but, you know, the guy that came in to replace him, uh, McKeon from uh, McKeithen, whatever his name is, from North Carolina, who was hurt last year, all of last year, he stepped in and played pretty well, I'm not going to lie. Um, but this offense definitely has a tall task in front of them in slowing down the Niners' uh, pass rush. Uh, on the defensive side of the ball, the Giants' young corners, they're looking like they're getting a little bit better, uh, finding their way through the uh through the NFL and how uh, it goes day-to-day business-wise. Um, D-line, Dexter Lawrence, Leonard Williams, Thibodeau, especially Kayvon Thibodeau. He needs to step the fuck up. O-line for the Niners is very good. They ain't no slouch. Trent Williams, probably one of the best tackles in the NFL. Um, Kayvon Thibodeau needs to stop pounding on the sidelines. He needs to fucking just bring his A-game and fucking start playing like a first-round pick like we expected him to be and why we took him fifth overall. Um, as far as that goes, it is a week-to-week -week progression with him. Uh, he just needs to get better. Apparently, a lot of people, including Tiki Barber on the fan, saying that he is not in the uh, defensive scheme that he is accustomed to. Uh, he doesn't want to drop back in coverage. I believe it was like 9% of plays. Uh, he was, or 9 snaps out of like 37 last week, he had to drop back in coverage. Um, no excuse. He needs to get better. He needs to get quicker. Um, Aziz Ojolari probably won't play either. He's just been hurt his whole career as a giant. Um, uh, pretty disappointing there. Um, but you know, we got our work cut out for us. This, this team is very fucking good in the Niners. I expect them to make it back to the NFC Championship game this year. Um, I did not pick them to win this game in the beginning of the year in the offseason. 
Um, I would not pick the Giants to win this game, even if Saquon Barkley and Andrew Thomas were 100% healthy. This is a very tough team against a very tough defense, against a very tough Nick Bosa at Levi Stadium at night, primetime, in which Danny Jones does not play well in primetime games, whether that hits his fault or not. He does not play well in primetime, especially primetime road games. Um, I'm going to chalk this one up as a loss. As long as we can keep it competitive and keep it somewhat close, I'll be happy. Um, and hopefully we can uh, right the ship the following week and uh, be back to 500. But I'm going to chalk this game up as a loss. The Giants will eventually move to 1-2. and two. My prediction for this would be 27-13 Niners. Um, that's my prediction. And, you know, the Niners are a very good team. The Giants still aren't there yet. They got a lot of issues to still clean up and fix. Um, so that's my prediction, 27-13 Niners. In the comments section below, uh, feel free to give your uh, prediction on the score and on the winner. Um, and any other news that breaks from now until then, I will keep you guys updated. And as always, let's go G-Men.